How to connect CJ dropshipping to Shopify 2023 step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing on how you can basically integrate your Shopify with your CJ dropshipping to obviously do the dropshipping for all different types of various products on, you know, your uh, dropshipping store and just make money off of it. Now, obviously nowadays, like dropshipping is in the whole world is doing dropshipping by just sitting at their home and like doing marketing for other products. That's what dropshipping is. And it's pretty basic and easy stuff. So uh, like the main issue that people face is finding good products and you can find amazing products on CJ dropshipping. So we're going to discuss that in like great depth. So please do make sure to watch this video till the end and gain all the information and knowledge you can about CJ dropshipping and how you can integrate it with your Shopify. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, to discuss CJ dropshipping, what you're going to do is you're going to come here. Okay. First of all, you're going to write CJ dropshipping over here. So here we go. CJ dropshipping, dropshipping from worldwide to worldwide. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and sign ourselves up with CJ dropshipping. Now I'm going to be using a temp mail to sign myself up, but if you want to do this in the long term, please, I recommend that you use a proper email, but for this, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on register. Okay. Now, once I click on register, it's going to take me to the whole registration page. I'm going to add my email. I'm going to add a password. There we go. Now, once you have added a good password, a good strong password that, you know, the people at CJ approve, uh, you're just going to do that. Click on next. And once you click on next, make sure you have a good username. You're going to add a first and last name for yourself. And once you do that, you're going to add a phone number. And once all that is done, you're going to click on confirm and then you will be brought here. User questionnaire to offer a better service. We would like to learn more about you. Which platform are you running your store now? So you can tell them you have multiple selections, but obviously this video is for Shopify. So we're going to add Shopify. How many orders do you need to process per day? You're going to tell them the number of orders you're going to have. So let's say I'm going to choose that. What categories of products do you mainly market? Now, you know, you have tons and tons of categories that you can market for yourselves. So I'm going to go with phones and accessories and men's clothing. Okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on submit and there you are. It's pretty basic and easy stuff. You have created your uh, basic CJ dropshipping account. Now we're going to go to our Shopify. Okay. So obviously you're going to log yourself in with your Shopify. So we're, I'm going to do that real quick. So here's my Shopify. I'm going to click on it. And here I am. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can either integrate with your Shopify, like using your Shopify, or you can integrate it using your CJ. Now, I've always found it much easier to just directly like integrate it with our CJ. So I'm going to for that. What you're going to do is you're going to go on my CJ. OK, now, once you go in my CJ, basically, they're going to bring you to the whole CJ dashboard. So here we are. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come down here where it says store authorization. We're going to click on that and you see all these stores, but on the number one list, you're going to see Shopify. So we're going to click on Shopify and here it says you haven't authorized any stores yet. Authorize your store to activate one click product listing and automatic order fulfillment. So we're going to click on add store first by clicking authorize. You will be directed to the app page in Shopify where you should click add app. Then please log into your Shopify account and select one store to authorize. So I'm going to click on authorize. That's going to take me to this tab. Okay. I'm going to click on add app. Now, once you click on add app, it's going to ask you to select the account and then select the store that you want to add the app on. And once you've done that here, we can see that it's going to take us to our store and here you're going to click on install app. Now, once you click on install app, it's pretty like pretty dandy from here. You're done. So here it says, welcome to CJ. One step more to our store authorization. Please select or log into a CJ account to authorize. You have logged into this account before. Please confirm. So you're going to do this. Agree. And you're going to click on authorize. Once you click on authorize, there you go. Authorization success. You have successfully connected your CJ dropshipping with your Shopify. Now for the fun part, how are you going to basically import your products from CJ to your Shopify store? It's pretty easy, pretty simple. So please do keep on watching. So we're going to go to our CJDropshipping.com main page. Okay. Now, once we are over here, what you're going to do is you're going to start looking at products. Okay. Whatever product you want to, let's say, 
uh, import into your store. You're gonna search for it. So I'm gonna go with, let's go with this, dogs and cats, or you know what, let's go with a flame aroma diffuser air humidifier. Let's go with that. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on list, okay? Now once you click on list, you're gonna be taken to the whole checkout page, okay? Here you are, and here they're gonna give you all of this. So you're gonna select your store, and once you select your store, basically you're gonna choose the product type. If you don't have a type, you're gonna add a type. So let's write electronics. You're gonna confirm, and yeah, there you have it. Then where you're gonna choose where you wanna add this collection to, and you're gonna choose your vendor. So you, you just write anything random, to be honest, doesn't matter. And once you do that, here you go. You're gonna have the variants of the product that you just chose. And basically, you're gonna choose the price for every product over here that, that basically you're gonna charge because you know, to get a bit of a profit. So if you can, I'd recommend go and choosing every price separately, but if you don't wanna do that, you can just come here, click on recommended, listing price and once you add that in there you can see it basically gives you the whole recommended list of price where it gives you the profit as well and once you've done that you're going to choose ship most orders to okay once you've done that you're going to choose the shipping method now obviously choose a shipping method which will take the least amount of days okay and once you do that check if it's available check the shipping cost and once you've done that you're going to click on list it now now what this does is it says listing in progress. You may check the listing status on in, uh, in on listing. Listing products can be managed in listed. So we're just gonna wait for it to you know load up and uh, to you know do all the processes quickly. And once it's done loading up, what this will do is when you come here and you go in products, you're gonna see. As you can see, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's like, there you go, it's listed. So you're just gonna reload the page. And basically, there you go. As you can see, your products have been listed successfully. And basically, this is how you're gonna basically do your drop shipping. And from there on out, just, you know, import it to your Shopify page, your Shopify store, and you're good to go. That is how you're gonna use CJ drop shipping with your Shopify to basically, you know, just make money, have products on your page, and have fun. So, uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. So yeah, that was pretty much all from me. If you enjoy watching this video, please drop down a like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all from me. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.